Okay, before we jump into the episode, I just wanted to apologize for the poor quality of audio on this first half. We were having a little bit of technical difficulties uh, with some of the audio equipment, but hope you still have a laugh. Okay, bye. Are you are you ready? Mm-hmm. Well, we're on, so. Oh, we are. We are. Put that. We are. We are. Close to your mouth. The youth of a nation. Perfect. We are. Hello. Hello. I. I think I can hear you. I wanted to suck these little legs in. Not my own. The legs of the mic. Well, you could make it your own. That's fine. Nobody would know. So that I can hold now. it a little better. Can it's, you hear me now? Oh, I can hear you fine, girl. Good. It was me that I couldn't hear myself. Still can't. I just sound like I'm in a well. In fact, I'm going to do this. Shay, get out of the well. It's really hard and dark in here. You're not Samara from The Ring. Maybe later. Who knows? Right. You don't know. I still have never seen her jump out of the TV screen because... You don't need to. I was so You won't scared. sleep for days. I for saw days. that... I saw that movie in like... What, seventh grade? Oh, it yeah? It was me and my friend, Lindsay Beetle, who watched the scariest movies ever since she was like five. And I'd just be like, oh, God. Anyways, and I'm pretty sure I made her hold my hand the whole time because I was so scared. And I was just like sweating and shaking the entire movie in the theater. And it sounds like a great that movie time. still scares the shit out of me. I haven't watched it as a 30-year-old, so maybe that'll be our next field trip. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I don't really want to do that. It's a nice thing about being going on a field trip. You're like, I'm not going to sign that form. I'm not going right. to go. I'm going to stay you in my can bed. say no. Yeah, I'm going to call in sick. You're not forced to go. But no, no. But field trips, no matter where they were. I know like, how a the fucking tr- the dairy dump. cow works. One time we took a field trip to the dump. <laughs> like, sweet. There's a bunch of seagulls everywhere, and it smells like shit, guys. Thanks, St. Patrick's elementary they just want you to know how it works they wanted us to see the horridness that the dump is and to recycle reduce reuse so how was your week brie um it was really good um i catered a little brunch wedding this weekend which was really fun nice nice and um yeah we made a bunch of quiche and chocolate Chocolate chip cupcakes, Crumptious. and little lemon poppy scones, and berry almond scones, and that sounds delightful. Hummus and green goddess, and salad and veggies and bacon That's... dates. Oh. I can never escape the bacon wrapped dates. Really, gross. Yeah, everyone loves them. Shay, did you not know that? Doesn't everyone ask you if you worked at a place called Cafe Vino and if you've ever eaten the bacon dates? Well, they don't. Every time well, someone usually says it, that. it's like, yeah, oh, you worked at Cafe Vino? I love their bacon dates. I'm like, yeah, well, it's like they're bacon off. wrapped yeah. dates. Who cares? They're yeah. delicious. They are good. I, I don't, eat don't them. care for them. I don't eat them anymore. I can't. I, I don't think I ever really ate them because I didn't. I don't like dates except the coffee date cake. That oh, was pretty that good. That toffee date But I mean, cake. how can you go wrong with butter and butter? <laughs> and sugar. It's just butter Brown and sugar. sugar. Yeah. It's and then stuff. brown sugar and butter for the sauce. And then brown sugar and butter and dates for the cake. Yeah. Oh, don't forget the And dates. flour. And flour. And Lots flour. Of Lots of flour. So, yeah, that was... Uh, and then, oh, and duh. So, I also teach kids cooking classes at a place called The Cooking Studio. Yes. That was for the listeners. I know, Shay, you know that, right? You knew that uh, about me? Oh, you do. Did you know that? I thought you just sit in your barn and wait for me to come home and be like, Brie, get over here and make the podcast. I, I thought you just wait for most me most of the time, but not it. last week because my kids camp started. Oh, that's so, exciting. Yeah. So I teach little kids cooking camps. All this right. Week's cake decorating. It's going to be a fun time. Maybe oh, I'll get yeah. some pointers. Maybe. Anyway, so that happened and that was my week. That's and a good then week. yesterday I cleaned and that's a solid week because yeah, I had to. I had to do it. You had to do what? I had to sleep and clean yesterday oh, on my Sunday fun day. That. Yeah. And then, yeah. 
you like how close my face is to this? I, I, I just like rest my face in the netting of the microphone guard. But, but it, uh, it looks good. It looks good. It looks real good. I didn't lick it, so that's good. No, it's fine. You can ha- lick it. I don't care. How was your I I week? Uh, just have a drink no, in your drink. No, I'm all off because we did, we were recording on a Monday. So mm-hmm. that's how... That's how I work as a 30-year-old. You like you take me one day out of my cycle and I'm all off and I don't know what day it is to take my meds and yeah, actually no, kinda, I don't take any meds. It kind of feels weird doing this on a Monday. I'm sorry. Oh god. Damn I had just it. too much shit to do yesterday. No, it's fine. Um and but I no. I had to sleep. My my week's been fine. I can't complain. I mean, it's not been the same old same old. I feel like stuff happened. Uh no, my grandma came to town. That that's what happened. Your grandma, what you guys do? She's four foot seven and full of spunk. Oh my God, that's amazing. What's her name again? Her name is Lily. Lily. Lily May P. That was her little name was, middle name was. Her little May. name. Her little name. Her her middle name was P. And her um, last name was Petrazine. So all of the little, her little classmates she used to call Lily May P, but not on me. Little kids in the 30s were vicious even that back is, then. That is Isn't definitely that vicious? a 30s thing to say. Right? That's really vicious. I Wait, her middle name was May? Her or? little, her, her middle, I keep saying her littlest name, her middle name was May. Yeah. Okay. So Lily May P. Oh my But not God. on me. That is so That still goes today. Up. I know. Um, what are we drinking today, Shay? Kind of the same thing that we were drinking yes, like last time, because it's um, what is it? it it's what, blended we had, in with rum. We had ba- we, what the bakeries? Fuck is, we had bakeries. We had they were full of bats. Um, it's what Batman drinks before he we goes and solves batteries. crime. Um, we had daiquiris last time, and then we were having. Not mojitos. Man, I am. If you like pina maybe I should be taking that. There it is. And they are delicious. And I'm not a big coconut fan, but I'm a fan of these. Okay, good. Oh, girl, I'm a fan of these. I got that good, good creme de coco. You did. You did. It is not organic. No, but, but it's good. It is I like it. Delicious. I am a big fan of it. Sweet and coconutty. Mm. And then, yeah. It, it, Just you, some. Frozen. You put like six shots in there, didn't you? Maybe. Um, cause For I can't taste us. nothing. Yeah. It's still three it's shots. Still some extra left. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a fat drink with a that P. P H A T. Hashtag nostalgia fat. It's true. Isn't that coming, kind of coming back now? I don't even know. Fat? I don't know. With, with all the oh, hips and with the kids. That's the only way I With all the fat. hips and kids. I don't even think that makes the sense. The hips and tips. The hip, well, Sometimes you get a fat tip and it's not the kind of tip you want. No, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh-uh. Speaking of that, we're using uh, daikon radish today. I know. I'm a little scared for you. I'm excited for you. Are you sure? Um, yeah. It's going to be fine. There's a, <laughs> it looks, so I set out it all of It looks super Shay's dramatic, you guys. Today. And it's a lot, but that's because it's Korean-y. So they just use a lot of ingredients. It's not like you're going to be like, you know. You don't have to use this whole bottle of fish sauce. Well, I hope not. It's going to be very... Hey, you can come down here. Um, But yeah, I laid out all the ingredients for Shay, and it does look like a lot. It does, but I'm ready for the challenge. Good. It's going to be fun. I hope you like food poisoning. Oh, you're not. You have... You know, it is a good thing that you've taught children because it's just, I think, gives you like the calmness and patience to deal with me. Mm. I mean, let's be honest. Mm. Mm-hmm. Come on, I'm back into the swing of things of uh, teaching the kids, so I'm learning my patience again. You are. It's funny because, like, the first day they're all like, I don't talk to anyone. I'm shy. Actually, this group got pretty fat became pretty fast friends but oh, yeah? like the last day it's like they're all best fucking friends yeah and they, it's and like they don't want to do anything it's like i had to raise camp. my voice did you what i did had you to have a stern tone of voice with them on the last day and i was like you guys i'm really fucking nice you little bitches i'm sure you said that I did. but i'm actually more sure that you apologized after you yelled at them i did i was like i did <laughs> i literally <laughs> you did like, 
I'm sorry, I don't want to have to talk to you guys like this, but you're not fucking listening. I didn't say that. I know you don't say fucking, but... And then did you go cry in your car at lunch? No, I was like, oh. you guys don't get to play music until you fucking work. You should have just played them awful music. Oh, they were playing yeah, Weird Al, which was sweet. What? Yeah, really? One kid picked Weird Al on the last day. That was fun. But the, every cool other kids. day they wanted to play Old Town Road seven times in a row. What is that? I don't even know what that is. The new Billy Ray Cyrus song with... Oh, little Nas or All something. All you have to say is Billy Ray Cyrus. It's fine. Um, and it's like a country rap song. Oh. I want to take my horse to the old town road. Oh, I'm yeah. going to ride that until I can't no more. Is that what he says? I, I don't I know what he says, but I know what you're talking about. on my booty in my fucking jacuzzi in my tutti frutti. Those that was the nice. Words. I liked it. Those are some of the words, I think. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, so it's going to be a fun cooking time for you. That was good. I like it. I'm enjoying it. Good. Well, what did you roll? Well, I rolled cooking. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. What did I roll, Brie? Yeah, what did you roll? You rolled science. I did. You rolled. So what kind of knowledge are we going to get? Are we going to get some more global warming? We're going to fucking... Just no, we're gonna get some global warming, you guys. No, <laughs> I'll always tie it in though, somehow, you always some do. way. Which, good on you, as you should say. You know what? We need more of that in our lives. It's fine, it's, it's good. fine. Um, yeah, I'm doing science and I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> You're hilarious. No, I dig it. I like it. I like it. It's good. Good. Well. It's- it's should good. we start cooking? I think it's. I think we should probably start. Cooking. We probably should start cooking. Yes. I, I agree with that. It's time. It's just time. It is time. Perfect. Like Rafiki says. So we just want to take a minute to tell you a little bit about Anchor, who hosts our podcast for us. And guess what? It's free, guys. So Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast, and they give you everything you need in one place. Again. Or free. Everyone likes free stuff. And you can use it right from your phone or computer. Even your phone, guys. We use our phones for everything. And now you can make a podcast on it. Absolutely. And they have like this creation tool, which is really awesome. Um, So even if you you don't need any fancy equipment or anything like that, if you just got a little mic and a little thought in your brain, it has a little creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds terrific. And they'll distribute your podcast for you absolutely for free as well. So it can be heard everywhere. Super painless. Um, It'll go from Spotify to Apple Podcasts to Google Podcasts and much more. And the best part, guys, you can easily make money from your podcast, which is what we're doing right now. Right now. Um, So if you guys want to start a podcast, you totally can. Just download the Anchor button. Um, If you're not already listening to us on Anchor, again, it's free. And Did we say it was free? It's free. Yeah. So download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started on your podcast today. Okay. I'm nervous for you. I'm I just, know. I'm totally All right. Joking. Do I I'm sound not. okay? Do I sound good? You sound fucking great. I sound okay. You can hear me fine. I can hear you. Do okay. I, I probably should take off my watch. Your watch. My watch. My witch watch. My wig swatch and my wig wam. Your wiggy wam. All right. You tell me when you're ready to cook. Um, I need some measuring cups. Shay, what is in front of you right now? There's a lot of shit. Yeah. What is most concerning that's in front of me is these fucking wildflower. Are we going like, to put some sugar shit on them? Because, like, nope. it just looks extra fancy is all I'm saying. Yeah, she got some flowers in front of her. Um, I honestly those are some just chive them. blossoms and some edible flowers that oh. I use for the wedding, but the chive blossoms we're going to garnish One our time things with. I put some flowers on my pregnant cousin's cake because I wasn't paying attention in the sense that I wasn't like, I was just doing it really quickly and I didn't look it up and they were poisonous. So, but thank God I didn't poison anybody because then I was like, mm, I should look that up. And I took that shit off, but they were only poisonous to pregnant people, which was very weird. Anyway. And you used it on her baby, pregnant. And the baby is three years old and she's the fucking smartest thing in the world, so it's fine. So Didn't really you helped kid. the baby <coughs> become smart. 
I did. Or... It's like, I'm pretty sure poisonous flowers is like, <clears throat> like a cold for an immune system. You just mm-hmm. get that, get that immune system up. Exactly. It's good for newborns. Ryan, I love you. Especially. You know, I love Charlie. That's <laughs> the little, his little niece. Anyway. Oh. Um, okay. So yeah, you so have anyway. flowers. So I got the, the flowers. Let's see. We got three limes. A big old daikon dick. Mm-hmm. It does look a little like an. Do you know. know what a daikon is, Shay? Um, I heard about it once. It's a radish. Oh, it's a radish. Describe it. Um, well, it looks like a a giant of, baby a, arm. Definitely a b- giant baby arm with no hand or or a penis that mm-hmm. has not been circumcised. A horse dick. Um, pretty much actually. That's probably on point actually. What color is it? It's white. Yeah. Okay. Very white. You can move on now. Okay. Oh, we got some chopsticks. Yep. I wish I could use them right now because then this would all be over. Um, <laughs> then, <laughs> let's see. Ooh, you don't know what that is? This looks like, um, like the little, like, not not bamboo, but like, not anywhere close to bamboo. That looks like a skinny it's celery. It's stocky, like it's bamboo. Stocky. Yeah, But stocky. that's lemongrass. Okay. Okay. Fair, fair. I'm excited that you've never cut into lemongrass. No. It's a fun process. I'm excited to explain it to you. Are you excited <laughs> to like take me to the fucking ER because I'm going to cut my fingers off? No, you're not. Okay, whatever. Okay, and then we have... Um... A shallot? A sh- <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I honestly thought it was... Never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm an idiot. Okay, moving on. We have- Damn it, I should have let you answer. I know. Um... Clove garlic, yes. Yes, but it's but beautiful it's and purple. It's beautiful and purple. I haven't ever seen one of these before. It's... Johnson and Wales, what was happening? God damn it. Okay. We just had that shit produce. Mm-mm. Well, we didn't have any pro- Fuck it. We like, let's make a quiche today. Oh, we had a storeroom. No, we had we had that for like our pastry goods, but we did not have that for like. Oh, no. It was like, it was, it was like a quiche day for our savory class. Mm. We're like, go make a quiche. Like, great. Anyway. Perfect. Anyway, okay, so we got some, ooh, oh, that smells delightful. Mm-hmm. I always get it confused. It's that Thai basil. Oh, that's what it is. Damn it. It does smell so good. It smells like licorice. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we got some cilantro. Cilantro. I know what that is because I'm a Mexicano. Um, and then we got some pure cane sugar. Some thank God shredded carrots, so I don't yeah, have to cut those. those you're dishes. lucky; those were literally the only ones. They and had. a big old bowl full of pork, not to be confused by this other shaft of daikon. Oh no! Um, and then we have different kind of pork. My Johnson and Wales knife, because um, it's Jay Wu. Yes, and then um, like a seventy thousand dollar knife, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> wasn't that much. Still paying that off right now. <laughs> thank God it was not that much. I'd be crying. Um, okay, so now we got into some fl- some some fluids. Yes, we some got liquids. some condiment liquids. Some liquids. fish, some some three crabs brand sauce, some it, fish sauce, three it's crabs. Fish sauce, yes. The brand is three crabs, yes. It's like the trifecta of a Friday night. It's mm-hmm. awful. Three crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should go on more Bumble dates so you don't get three <laughs> crabs every Friday. Well, I think I wish you go on less bumble dates if I'm oh, getting three yeah, crabs right. every Friday. You're right. That's mm. what I meant. Oh, and we're watching our sodium intake. Yes, we with are. With some low sodium soy sauce because we're old. Uh huh. I always watch my sodium shake. And we shake. can't go willy nilly with that shit. And then we got some rice vinegar, and we got some sriracha. Don't worry, we won't use a lot of sriracha oh, we have for two your little baby mouth. Spice. Yeah, I we're know. gonna use up the old stuff because FIFO, bitch. Let's first see. in, oh, first out. That's right, girl. Oh, I'm peeking. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, I'll fix peeking it in post. means when the volume level of my voice goes into the red zone on the computer. Hashtag learning shit every day. Uh huh. Okay, then we got some botan rice. It's short grain kale rice. Oh, I was reading the brand. You're I'm right. Done yes. No. I'm I was, done. Just, I was just explaining <laughs> what that means. But uh, yes, we got some rice. Okay. Cool. And, well, and then over there by the sink, it looks like lily pads. No, they're not. We lily have pads. lily pads they in look this like, recipe. <gasps> are we having lettuce wraps? Uh-huh. We are. But they're not called lettuce wraps. They're called sesame. I actually don't know how to say it. And I'm going to go right now. Okay. 
All right. This this looks a little bit more intense, Brie, than uh, the eggs Benedict that I did last time. It's less. It just has a lot what? of How ingredients. How is this less? Because it is. I guess it really is true what they say, then less is more. It's Sam. literally pronounced Sam. Sam. We're oh. making Sam Marcus spelled S S A M. Perfect. And it basically just means wrapped. It's like a oh. little wrapped food. So we're going to make little wrap food. lettuce wraps. Okay. And we're going to make them really yummy. And we're also going to make rice with them. Oh, so perfect. we're first going to want to make our rice, Shay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So, I know that. First, what you're going to do, I forgot you have to do this part, but you're going to put a cup of rice into a bowl. You Dry rice? Dry first. rice. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, wait. That's not right. Stand by. Got it. And then you're just going to submerge it by an inch. Of water? Of water, yeah, because you're just going to kind of stir it and strain it out. Okay. Okay. This is called rinsing the rice. Oh, because you got to rinse that rice mm -hmm. before we we cook it. Just I like... love the sound effects. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I know. After I got my shit together after a fucking hour. Okay. So should I put the water? In? It, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Mm -mm. It doesn't matter. No, first you're going to put water covering the rice in that. Oh, see? I would have fucked it up already. You Step one. Screw it up. I know. I'm sorry. I'm not so, explaining. So just cover it. Right above it. Yeah, like an inch above the rice with water. With milk? <laughs> Fucking dick? With dick juice. With dick juice. Did you see that? Um, those people that I'd fill it up more. More than that? Yeah. Like almost, yeah. There? Yeah. Just like oh, like a rice, oh, inch above the rice. Oh, what inch above the rice? Holy shit. <laughs> First step, five minutes. We haven't even cooked anything. Okay. <laughs> Is that better? Sure. That's perfect. You're like, I now give you're up. You're going to stir it with your finger a little bit, and then you're going to like... This is where I need the gloves. It's rice water. You drank rice milk Dude, the other day. I baked everything with gloves on because I was I'm like, I don't like it getting under my hands. Oh, well, you are getting some shit today. Okay, so now you're going to like strain out the rice Ooh. using your hands but not letting the rice go out and you just want it to, you're going to repeat what you just did till that water's not cloudy moving. yeah oh a rinse and repeat a ah. rinse and repeat gotcha. lather rinse repeat so, wa so what does it what does it do it's getting all that extra starch and then he like oh. weird little particles off of it that's pretty cool that's pretty cool mm-hmm Oh, I should this probably so mention. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Get to cooking. Um, I should mention. Yes. That this recipe we're making is from one of my favorite cookbooks of all time. What's it called? Momofuku. Nice. Momofuku. 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 Do this again. Mama. Mama say. Mama say. Yeah. Okay. Momofuku. Mama fa. Mama kuka. Exactly. There you go. All right. I'm done trying to sing that. Trying to riff. Okay. All right. Okay, um, Mama Foku by David Chang and Peter Meehan, who was like his best friend slash like fucking All right. writer. Anyway. We're rinsed, bitch. All right, we're rinsed. Now, what you're going to do is put the rice in a medium saucepan. Make sure you have a lid. Is that what that is for? And add one cup of water. One cup of rice and one cup of water. It's short grain, so maybe that's why. That's what it says. David Chang, I trust you. Okay, so put this in here? Yep. Put that all in there. Get it all out. And then you're going to cover it with a, a cup, cup of water. Of water. I, got, I can do that. I have to be very careful that I'm not going to yank the cooter. Yank your cooter? What did Make, you just say? Just yank my cooter real hard. It's what <laughs> I do Is that, that what you told your bumble? Match. I do. I'm like, I'm really nervous. And when I do that, I yank my cooter. <laughs> I thought you just told him to do that to you. I just really like the to pressure. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay, okay, so the rice America. is in the pan. Okay. Okay, so I need this again. I'm just rinsing it out. Okay, good. Make sure it's a cup. 
I did. Oh, okay. Don't yell at me. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just kidding. Okay, so okay. we're going to cover the pan. Stand by for sure. Sip, sip break. Sip break. Sip break. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> Maybe later. Hi. <laughs> Um, Shay's falling inside of her. <laughs> the sound effects of this are so good. Who the fuck is the lid? Oh, it's in the dishwasher. All those sound effects for nothing. <laughs> and then in my spare time, I went to clown college. That's how I was really good at making those special effects, you guys. You're welcome. Are we in a folly class? <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? Folly? <laughs> Never heard of that. It's like the sound effects are also called folly or something. I've never heard of that. I know that. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay, so you're going to turn it on and we're going to bring it to a boil. But how Medium high. high. Medium high. Once it comes to, I'd do a medium since we're only doing a cup of rice. I would think it's going to boil in two seconds. All right. Um, so, yeah, once it comes to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat to low and cook for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. And then... We'll just set that aside. So the next step, let's start our Sam. Which one? Our Sam's. Oh, okay. Now what so I So we're going to, actually, we're not going to do that. Um, so first thing what we want to do is we're going to chop, mince up our lemongrass. Oh, so what no. you're going to do is you're going to cut off the fat end. Have these been washed? Um, no. They have not. I'm gonna wash them. Fine, wash them. Right? Yeah. Okay. You're right. God. You're fucking right. I am right. Who the hell knows where those stocks have been? I don't know what you've done with them. I... Could have been a lonely night out on the prairie for you. It was. I knew it. Disgusting. I know. So All we're right. probably gonna use two of those. So you're gonna cut off the fat. And it's a little woody. It's kind of a fibrous little stock. So here? So just cut off a little bit of the end. Right here. Yep. And then you're going to cut off most of that frilly end. Jesus kind fucking Kind of where the, it changes color to like that darker green. Right about there. So, yep. Right here? Right about there. Yep. And save those for me because I'm going to make stock or something with the yeah, tops. Yeah, girl. I'm going to put them right there for you. Thank you, sister. But th th throw now what away. you're going to do is cut them lengthwise so they're split in half. Oh, my God. I'm going to cut myself. So you could cut it. Why don't you cut it in half the other way first? This Wait, this way. Yep. And then slice it in half so there's smaller pieces for you so you don't slice <laughs> your whole hand. And you can take off, like, some of those outer layers. Oh, the little, the little blankets? Yeah. Yeah, the little blankets. The little That's blankets. what they're called. So then do it this way. Yep. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. It's fine. You can hold it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sister, if you're listening to this, shut the fuck up. Perfect. <gasps> See, I told you I could do <laughs> Draw my screen. These were really pretty though inside. Aren't they got smell like them? wispies of Oh, that smells dope, girl. It's like, it's like purple and yellow and green inside there. It's oh, so pretty. It's like yeah. a rainbow of the stalks. Look at you slicing that lemongrass. Thank you, Johnson and Wales. Thank you, Brie, for telling <laughs> you what to do right now, bitch. I know. I'm just joking. Get it right. Get it tight. That's what she said. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, now you're going to flip them over on their Wait, cut side down. Oh. I'm not done. Oh, God. I'm okay. jumping ahead. I'm going three miles an hour, so it's not your fault. That sound. It's pretty sexy. Okay. So now we're going to put all those lemongrasses. Let's do like three stock, three little pieces. You're going to put them on cut side down on your cutting like board. Like this? Yep. Boom. And boom. Yep, okay. And now you're going to use the the back of your knife, so that not the sharp side, that like other this? side. So hold it like you're going to cut something, but yeah. Now you're going to bang the lemongrass with the back of the knife up and down it. Like this? Yep. So it kind of like breaks it up. This seems very silly. It's just one way to do it. It kind of breaks it up, lets the oils come out a little come bit. On. It makes it easier. 
Yeah, with the wrong end. It also helps just till it's a little tender. That's probably good. You can do the rest of them now. Or, I mean, just kind of mix it because now it smells all lemongrassy in here. Mm -hmm. It smells like a goddamn Aveda store in here. And now, after you do all that, you're just going to mince it really fine. So, really nice, small. So, what I would do is slice it really thin first, all the way through, and then you can just like rough chop it from there. Wait, you know what I mean? I think, like, so good. Yep. So, just, just really thin slices. Yep. Thinner. Oh, God. Okay. Might be hard. I know, I haven't had this knife sharpened in a hot fucking minute. Probably like the last time since I've been at Vino, to be honest with you. I really wanted to challenge you today with the You chopping. did. Damn, girl. You were all about it. I feel like I'm on that really shitty show, like, Worst Cooks in America. <laughs> no. Make sure I'm not having that on the Look seat. at your little chops of I know. lemongrass. They look so beautiful. Next, what you're going to do, Shay, is you're going to roughly chop some shallots. What is ruffle chopping? Ruffle chop. You roughly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to do a little fancy chop. It's where you make a shallot look like a ruffle potato chip. So, so good luck like with this? that. Yeah, well, perfect. I would chop, like, do, like, now go back and forth with your knife. Just mix them all up. Mix it all up and chop it, chop it so it's a little smaller pieces. So and just till they're choke. nice and small. So we don't choke. Yeah, you want those to be I'm nice and choking. small. What's next? So chopping the shallots, roughly chopped. So you're going to mince them probably if we're not going to use the food processor. How do I do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, the that end off that the this? little sprout comes on. Yeah, take that off with your knife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, everyone, I just, like, try to pull it off because I'm a fucking air turd, so it's fine. <laughs> All right, so take that little end off. Like this? Yep. And wipe your knife off a little with that lemongrass. Wait, with this? Uh, or, I mean, just... <laughs> <laughs> that works, too. <laughs> I meant just wipe the lemongrass off the knife, but Shay just wiped the random stalk of lemongrass onto the knife. <laughs> With the lemongrass. I know. I'm sorry. I need to use my words properly. Especially with me. Well, now I'm just going to. All right, with your me. finger, wipe the lemongrass okay. off so okay, it's now with clean. with a stalk of lemongrass? Yes. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're gonna slice that shallot in half through the little root end. Like this. Lengthwise, yes. Now you're gonna peel it the rest of the way. Like, ooh, like this? Yep. Just stripping it off? Mm-hmm, just strip just it down. Just stripping it down? Okay. Get that, get that peel off your cutting board. Getting it off. Oh, you Very did. good at cleaning. And I think we're going to need all the shallots, so you might as well do the same thing to the next one so it's ready for you to just chop them all. Okay. Do I, did I fuck that up? Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's perfect. It's fine. That'll be fine. Okay, so now that you peeled all your shallots, what you're going to do is with the tip of your knife, like you're going to face, yes, but you're going to face the this shallot with the cut end towards you, so like that. Mm-hmm. Now, not going through the whole shallot, you're going to go right up to that root end and slice little slices that way. Yeah. But one, you want to go back so you don't go through the So I want to, I want to go like, oh yep. my God, this, you had to pick this task for me. I did. So many cuts. It's like a test. So just all the way so down couple, though? Yep. All the way down, but not all the way to the back part of the shallot. Cause like you want to keep it all together. Like a little fan? Mm -hmm, like that. Like an app. An apple. An apple. Yeah, you could just do like one more of those. Oh, like that? Yeah. Just like perfect. three little cuts. Yep. Oh, okay. That's just going to help it become nicely, nicely minced. N nicely minced. Oops, it kind of went through. That's okay. So now you're going to do a little quarter turn so that the shallot end is like a quarter turned from you like that. And now you're going to chop it into little pieces to make little minces. So like... 
Like that? Yeah, nice small slices so that it's nice small little oh. minces. Oh my god. And then you're probably gonna just chop Look through that again. That is. Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. It's so adorable. Now what? Okay, so now you're gonna cut those up a little more. Yeah, just chop them right through. And now it's mixing of the meat time. You're gonna get Ooh. your hands in that meat, girl. Okay, so now what you're gonna do <laughs> is take your ground pork. Ooh, and you're that. gonna put it in that big silver bowl because that's where you're gonna mix it in. And then you're gonna use the bowl that you just dumped that into, and we're gonna mix. We're gonna put our lemongrass, shallots, huh? In that bowl. You're gonna put a half a tablespoon of salt in there in that little bowl. Huh? With the shallots and lemongrass so a tablespoon and a teaspoon of fish a fish sauce a fish, a fish. sometimes i stutter as as a 30 year old i've stuttered since i was like a three-year-old so you know where's that so cheers to that sam jesus fucking christ christ on a cracker oh uh Yep, smells like crabs. Smells like fish sauce. Or a hippie that hasn't bathed in a week. <laughs> Woo. All right. I love it. All right. So we're going to do a tablespoon. And a teaspoon of that. You're going to want to keep that out because we're going to use more fish sauce. Don't worry. Are you sure? It's pretty pungent. Whoops. Oh, Today's yeah. Is. There you go. You're going to do a tablespoon like of sriracha. Cat-ish. So that's all. Only a tablespoon. That's a baby. It's a, that's good. That's you can do good. a little extra if you want. Dude, that smells rancid. I don't like that. Oh, I love fish sauce. It is a funky, funky smell, but it... Pee. You mean the... It's pee. Let me smell that one. I haven't smelled the three crabs in a while. How can you not I haven't smell smelled my here? three crabs in a while. I haven't smelled your three crabs. Oh, yeah, that smells like fucking fish sauce. Yeah, no shit, dude. Yeah, it's funky as fuck. Funky is a word for it. Okay. All right, and now you're going to do, you're going to mix that all together with a fork or spoon or whatever you want to use. Look at that fish sauce working there. Huh? And now you're going to put that into this. your pork. Oh. Okay. Now I have to squeeze it with my hands, all right? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know about your weird uh, pet peeve of food in you your hands. You see me bake shit with like my fucking gloves on? <laughs> I'm dead noticed. serious. I'm fucking serious. It's because I couldn't. You eat. did do that. It's because. Now I, that I'm thinking about it, you totally did bake with your fucking gloves. Because I could never like get the smell off. And I felt like I was like, it was smelling and everything I was doing. So if I would make. I should have brought you gloves. I'm being a weirdo. Anyway. Okay. So now you're going to mix that all together. Yeah, stay back. Take a drink first. Good. I'm not going to fucking meat off my hands for days. Mm-mm. You want to be working those seasonings into that meat. Oh, wait. First, you need to add um, good thing I was like- a quarter cup of flour. Oh, good call. All right. And then you're going to work it all. Top of you. And kind of sprinkle it in there. Sprinkle it. Spranks. How's that doing? I feel like this is done. Okay, so sh- let's shut it off. Stand by. I'm going to check it. Yeah. All right. And I'm going. You mix it together. Okay. Oh, it's getting all under my nails. It's very. How do people kill people? I just don't even understand it. I don't even like put my hands into like fucking raw meat. Not that it's like the same as killing somebody, but you know, I don't know. I just feel like it's, it's gross. Okay. It's just gross. <laughs> it's so gross. It's just so gross. Oh, I peaked. Oh, I thought you said you peed. I peed. I peed. I just peed. I 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 peed. I
eat Pansy Pansy out. Pete. Like you need to go so outside. So it, once it's mixed, you don't want to overwork it, but you want it to be all mixed together. So yeah. Okay, now it smells pretty fucking dope. Right. I think it's a nice fish sauce. Is like a great additive to That's things. More kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Except okay. we might be making a fish sauce vinaigrette of sorts. So. Oh, God, sorry about that. It's okay. so fucking good, though. I bet it is. I'm not. I'm, I'm not even thinking that you're lying. So now you're gonna turn your um, after you've mixed that up. Yeah. You're gonna go wash your little handies. <laughs> I'm just watching. Make sure my... you watch your cord. I'm not that drunk. Ugh. It smells like my cat's been sick. <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, it looks really good, you guys. It really does. It's the fish sauce. It's the fish sauce. Once it's, it's all going to get all been cooking, I bet you it's going to smell fucking dope. <laughs> but right now, it sounds like my cat's been sick. For days. <laughs> Actually, Colonel is sick. He is. But like the 1990s sick, where he's mm-hmm. dope. Yeah. Like fat. Yeah. P-H-A-T. P-H-A-T. So now you're going to turn your uh, big old pan on to, to medium high. And you want to get some oil. I guess it's more medium high. Uh, what oil? Like uh, canola. Does it matter? Yeah. No, okay. I was just going to do like olive oil. oil. Yeah. I don't want to do canola. Yeah, that's fine. Is that fine to do olive oil? Sure, we're just going to use a little oh, for today. Oh, careful. Now I know what a dog feels like on a leash line. <laughs> Uh, like, ah! Shay just got caught on her giant um, cord that is on her portable My microphone. Leash. Just say what it is. It's a fucking leash. Oh, it's you're right. It's, it's your right leash. Here. Oh, there it is. You want to put about uh, half, how much? Yeah, just drizzle it. That's good. That's plenty. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so now we're going to wait till that heats up. Okay. Then what? We're just, we can put this over here. Yep. Oh. So now we're going to do is clean off your little cutting board. Stand by. And we're going to fucking chop and peel some daikon. Don't mind if I do. So once you're done, I think we're, our pan's going to be nice and hot. Perfect. Maybe. I... Oh, yeah, it is. You ever cook ground beef tacos, Shay? <gasps> Only 75 times in my life. Well, that's kind of what you're going to do with this pork. I kind of figured. So you'll layer it all in there, and We're then you'll just break again. it into kind of bigger pieces. What? We're using this again. Yes. Okay. You will use your cutting board and knife. So what I like to do. Time out. I don't know why these are like less filling than the daiquiris were. Do you notice that? Mm. Like last time, like I could only get like one. Of, I mean, I know we were like in like having them by like the fucking gallon, but they don't seem as filling. I don't know. Maybe they're not as sweet. They're sweet. They're sweet though. I think because you put more booze in it, which is fine. Anyway. Perfect. All right. Okay. So you're going to layer it into an even layer in the bottom and then you're going to use like a, you could, <laughs> I mean, you can do it with your hand. You don't have to though. And then you can eat whatever you're going to use to break it. That'll work. Again. Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry if you hate this. Now flatten it oh. out. Yep. Keep putting it in. You put, oh, keep putting it in? Yeah, put all your meat in. Oh, you so I'm just like to... making like a like a, like a a floor. Yes. Like a, like a pelvic floor of meat. Yeah. Got uh, it. Yep, that's exactly what you're going to do. That's what the episode is going to be called. The pelvic floor of meat. Of Sam's meat. <laughs> oh my god. Sam? Who the fuck is Sam? Sam! That's what we're making, Sam! Oh, I was like, who is Sam? We're not making Sam witches. We're making Sam. Well, you were like, of Sam's meat. I was like, who the fuck is Sam? You obviously don't like him very much. And we're Sam. cooking his meat. We are. Or her. Sam. 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 So yeah, let that brown a little bit, and then you'll start breaking it up. So give it a couple minutes. Meanwhile, once you uh, cut your daikon radish in like a quarter of it, you won't have to peel the whole thing. <gasps> Ooh, thank God. 
Yeah, cut off a quarter Everyone of a knows piece how I get into of your very long shaft. You, you're things. ready to get your dike on. Yeah. You know um, how that shit go. So about a little more. Up, 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 up. That's good. Nope, oh, down a little. That's what she he said. Down. He? That's good. There it is. That'll be plenty. That'll, that'll do just fine. So now you're going to peel it. And what do you think, Shay? Should we do whole rounds or should we do crescent moons? Well, the whole rounds Half round moons, sound a lot I mean. Easier. Actually, they're not. Really? Because you don't have a flat surface. Oh, all right. Then let's go with the easier option. Yeah, so first peel your little... With this? Yep, with a peeler. Yes, that well, is correct. I didn't know that you could be like, well, you just put it under your fingernails, <laughs> you ass wife. <laughs> Dude, we You're are right. All, you do peel going, ginger with spoons. We're going way back with the fucking... Wait, what? You peel ginger with a spoon. That's the best way to peel ginger. What so. do you suppose ginger with a spoon it's way easier because it's so fibrous that like the spoon just peels the skin right, right off but, but if you use a peeler to peel ginger it like gets caught in your peeler but how do you do that you I've just use the edge before. of a spoon like the like the like the side of a spoon like the fucking like edge you're gonna have to show me that that's a good little trick i think i got it it's a little tricky because you can't see because it's fucking so white. It's so white. Ah, like a banana now. So now you're going to cut that it That would be an wise. actual amazing prank on somebody. Oh, yeah. Because it looks like a fucking banana. It does look like a banana. A very excited banana. So we could literally... probably break that up apart, the meat now, that it's getting sizzly. And just a little bit. You don't want to go crazy and just keep browning it up. Oh, I want to flip it over, though? You will, yes. But, so yeah. just leave it like that? Yeah let it get a little more brown because it doesn't look like it's brown on the other side yet right okay no okay so now cut that lengthwise in half so you'll have yes so you'll have a little half moon and now put both of those flat side down and you could cut both of them at once so yep flip it the cut side yep like that now you'll do nice thin spooning as thin as slices as you could get shay thin <laughs> Dinner. Just kidding. She doesn't <laughs> even cut anything yet. Just my spirit. And some flatulence. Just kidding. Perfect. Like that? Yes, that's beautiful, Shay. Look at those. <gasps> Thank you. Good thing you don't have to cut the carrots. Jesus fucking Christ. Nice and thin, yeah. Meanwhile, check your meat if you need to. Can't multitask. Yes, you can. Yeah, that's a little brown. You can move it around now. Now just cook it like you would Hamburger taco meat. meat. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got it got a little brown. That's good. We like some caramelization. Oh, we do, do we? Yes, we do. That's delicious flavor. Sometimes I get mixed up with caramelization and burnt. Oh, that's fine. You know, like you and bacon date. Oh yeah, I, I like you. to bake and I like to burn my bacon dates. Dude, now this smells like Good a thing fucking, I don't work there anymore. This smells like a goddamn egg roll, and I'm pretty excited about it. Mm. Yes, it does. It don't smell like my cat's diarrhea no more, guys. <sighs> it's good. Insert elevator music. All right, so now what we're going to do is you're going to take this um, white bowl. Okay. I still have this one to go. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Put that Wait, in. don't do that in there. Oh, okay. You, I mean, I was we'll getting... use this one. This is a clean one? Yeah. Well, they're both clean, I think. They're both clean. Okay. We do. Yeah, that's fine. Just put them in there. Eh. Check your meat. Checking my meat. Oh, yeah, that's looking fucking caramelized and yummy. Yeah, it is. I feel like maybe we could, Yo. in a in a minute or two, just turn it off and just, like, let, let it, it hang chill. out. Yeah. Yeah. And cook. It's still a little pink in there. Yeah. So. Let's use a couple more mins. Yep. Little mini mins. 
Okay. Okay. Now so now you're going to put some carrots, about equal parts carrots that there are. Daikon. This is the easiest part of the whole thing. Yeah, you just have to peel them back and put them in because they're already cut for you. Perfect. Now what you're going to do is you're going to measure out a half a cup of this? rice vinegar. Yes, use my use first FIFO. That's right. FIFO for life. Oh. We're going to fucking forget. Where? There it is. Half a cup. Half a cup. Half a cup. Actually, let's do three quarters of a cup. Oh, there's some rice in here. Perfect. It's fine. Pickled rice is really good. We're making a quick pickle brine right now. And now you're going to add uh, about two tablespoons of sugar. In this? Yep. Damn. Okay. Let's start with one tablespoon of sugar. Good call. Good call. Brilliant. Just say. a tablespoon of sugar. Quick, go pickles. Your pickles. <laughs> um, and then you're going to do about a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of salt. A, a half a teaspoon? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, actually a quarter teaspoon. Oh, good thing I asked. I'm glad I looked at what that was. And now you're going to fucking whisk that all up, mix it all up till all whisk that stuff it, dissolves. Whisk it or mix you it? You can just mix it until it dissolves. Then you're going to pour that over your pickles. I think it's good. Pour it right on your pickles. And you just want to submerge those in there. If they're not completely submerged, you'll be you want to try to submerge them as much as possible. There you go. All right, next step, we're making our fish sauce vinaigrette, and then we're going to eat. Sweet. Now what do I do? So now you're going to set that shit aside. Perfect. Now what you're going to need is a fourth a cup of fish sauce. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <gasps> what are you guys? We're almost there. A fourth? Yep. This is probably the fanciest I've ever cooked. Then you're going to do, yep, put it in your bowl. Then you're going to do a fourth a cup of water. Perfect. Boom. Okay. Uh, two tablespoons of rice vinegar. One lime juice. You're going to do a quarter cup of sugar. Holy shit balls. Let's do a quarter cup. Yeah. Let's do three tablespoons. That's a little less. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. You know what? I'm Just all do a quarter sticky. Cup. I don't like it. Oh, God. Don't knock your shit over. <laughs> there we go. I got you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Hope and then after you do out. that, you're going to mince a clove of garlic. You haven't? No. What? So, would you say three, three tablespoons? Yes. Perfect. Uh, mix that up. Well, first you're gonna mince a garlic. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a take two a clove out two cloves of that beautiful purple little yeah, pretty organic garlic. It's pretty gorgeous. It's like little baby garlic. It's Look so little it and so tender. How cute it is. It's like a little surprise. It is. Okay. Did you know, guys, a little fun fact, if your garlic is sprouting at home and you're like, oh, no, I have to throw it away, you could plant that shit and grow more garlic. Boom. That's Do awesome. it. We actually planted some of ours, and it's growing real good. Okay, now what do I do? Oh, you're going to uh, use the side of your yeah. knife, like flay it flat on your on your um, garlic clove. Like and you're going to use your your uh, fist, and you're going to bang it right where that garlic would be with your knife, and you're going to smash it. I'm going to stab myself. You're not. Just make sure your blade's not up. Okay, make sure your thanks. blade's a little down. There like you go. This? Yep. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Now do that with the other one. <laughs> you look so scared. I am. Sometimes I'm afraid I'm going to like go on my knife. Okay. 
Shit. Okay, now okay, what do I do? So now you're gonna peel. So now you're gonna be able to peel it with your hands, with your fingers now, not with the knife. Now peel it off really easy, all that skin. <laughs> so peel this all off. Yep. And, and then it. you're gonna just chop this it up and mince it. Makes me kind of forget that I'm on doing this. I know. Okay, so just mince it up. Yeah. Once you've minced your garlic. You're going to add it to your little fish sauce sugar mixture, and you're going to mix it all up, and now we're ready to fucking eat. Wait, which one is the, this one? Yep. But we still have the flowers and stuff. Oh, you want to pick the flowers off so they're ready for the garnish? Is I was just going to have doing? us pick our stuff oh, off. Oh, we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, that we sounds can do way that easier. ourselves. Okay. All Let right. Just, yeah. And now you can clean up, and we're Let ready me. to assemble our lettuce wraps. Perfect. Our Sam's. Okay, so we're going to eat, and then we're going to tell you if I did good. Yes, and then I'm going to talk about science. Perfect. So, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take our le- – we got bib lettuce over there, so I cut it up so the leaves are nice and big still, but mm-hmm. there are small little leaves, so they're perfect size. Perfect. And we're just going to put our meat in there. We're going to top it with our pickled veggies that we just quick pickled. We're going to put a little sauce on it. And then if we want, we can put soy and some sriracha. And we're also going to garnish it with our chive blossoms for that little oniony flavor. Also put some Thai basil and cilantro on there. And we're going to eat it. Boom, boom, boom. All All right. right. We did it. Well. What, it, what happened? What did we just do? We just oh, ate. Oh, yeah, that's right. We just ate some delicious Sam I am. No, some just Sam. Sammies. Sammies, but they were like delicious Sams. They were, yes, Shay, you did great. Thank you. I didn't burn or fuck anything up. So no, you didn't? It was a good and day. It was a delicious dinner. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. For sharing your talents. Oh. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say share my talents, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah, it was, that was fun. That was, I didn't chop my fingers and. Nope, you now chopped I'm lemongrass just, for the first time. Yeah, but now I'm and just. And minced garlic for the first time? Yeah, what that was. What the fuck? I know, that was kind of sad. I'm not going to lie to you. It's fine. No, it was sad. But I. It was, was it's, very. It is what it is. It's, it's fine. Um. But now I'm just sitting here with a fucking full belly and a you know, cat in my lap like a goddamn villain. Yes. Like a goddamn 30 year old. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. It's time for science. Okay. All right. Yeah. And today we're going to be talking about the science of meditation. That's a good one. It because is. Because I feel like after eating all that food, I'm in a meditative state. But uh, And it can't, you. that's probably true. Yeah. Or just a food coma. That too. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about what about meditation today. Okay. Um, I don't meditate and I want to start and I want, I know that I need to. <laughs> What, to calm your brain? To calm my fucking chatter brain. Like, I literally, like, I even have problems going to sleep because I'm just like, oh, oh blah, 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 yeah, blah, 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 that's blah, not a problem for me, for sure. You know? Yeah. That's um, more of a problem for you. But yeah, that's not, I don't have that issue. I, I just conk out usually. So, but then sometimes when I have bad insomnia, it's real bad. Yeah. Or like, a lot of times too, like, I just, I don't, I don't know. I just know it has a lot of benefits. It does. And I'm going to talk to you about some of those and just some oh, of the excited. studies they've done with people um, and just kind of like what it's all about and like what it entails. And it's really scary to people sometimes, but it doesn't have to be so scary. No, it doesn't. It's it's I do know like the people that I've talked to that have that do it regularly is they just are just all about it. And mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, I've, I've done it a couple times, but I just, I just I've, can't sit still. Yeah, I can't either. I'm just like, I've, I'm just like, okay, I'm bored and I and can't I, even fucking clear my mind. Yeah. And then also sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to, I like overthink it. I overthink meditation, which is like the opposite. Right. I'm like, am I breathing right? Do. Are you? 
Yeah, like, exactly. No, I'm breathing too fast. Yeah. So I'm like I got to get the mail. So I wanted to just read a little bit more about benefits and things of it. Mm-hmm. And um, so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys today. No, I know. Guys, In you my get a lot of segment of, of science of this week. Got a little what? I said you guys get a lot of breathe this week. You do. It's good. Hello. Get a little break. Okay, so most people, when they think of meditating, they think of, you know, Buddhist monks on the top of a mountain in Tibet um, or something like that. Something super stereotypical. Or super, and... like, hippy-dippy, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, and so one, like, monk life isn't super, like, like yes, they're always in a tranquil state, but, like... They wear they those live dope in, robes too. Yeah, and they but they live like they do everything themselves. They usually live in nothing more than a dirt floor with a dirt floor. Um so this I was reading about this one monastery and um upon entering you, uh their mud brick homes, you find no tables or chairs. They just have a long platform bed um which will sleep a family of 8. Um, and I mean, that doesn't sound like the easiest way to live, but it's like, how do these people possess such inner calm conditions right in place in a condition that we would call less than ideal. So, um, I guess it all just depends on what your idea of less, less, exactly those words. And so, um, when these monks like cook, they sow, they plow their fields, when they do anything, they're they're doing so in a tranquil state and as an approach to life they weave meditation in to like every action of their day and that's why they're able to do these things with such calm and right. tranquil mindsets and yeah um so what can we learn from these practices so it's pretty uh, it's a romantic notion to quit everything and join a tibetan a Tibetan monk a Tibetan. Monas- Tibetan. Tibetan monk monastery and go live up on a mountain and just meditate all day. But right. reality is we can't all fucking do that, obviously. And we no. shouldn't all do that. No. Um, but you don't need to quit your job. You don't need to give up all your possessions. You don't need to spend like 30 years of chanting. You don't got to sell your donkey. Nope. Or your burro. Or your burro. Or your cat. Don't. No, I would never um, sell you. A lot of recent research, a lot of recent research is indicating that meditating brings about dramatic effects in as little as like a 10 minute session of just Hmm. meditating. So that's something I feel like I could tackle eventually. Right. Still, I can't. There's no way. Like just being still and not thinking for 10 minutes. I can't do it for like three minutes. It's like, oh no, what am I not? Right. So, um. So, yeah, you can get reap the benefits in as little as a 10 minute session. But it obviously it takes practice to right. start doing that. And that's what this is. It's a practice. Right. And you just get it's like a building a muscle, basically. So several studies say that subjects who meditated for a short time showed increased alpha waves, which are the relaxed brain waves and decreased anxiety and depression. Nice. Um, oh, in a book called What is Meditation by Rob Naren. Nair, Nairn, Nairn, Nairn. He talks about this, um, as he talks about this, he talks about meditation as being a state of bare attention. Um, he explains it's a highly alert and skillful state of mind because it requires one to remain psychologic, psychologically present and with whatever happens in and around one without adding to or subtracting from it in any way. So it's just being fucking present and just like, and sometimes that's, that's super hard. to. That's do another too. thing too. Yeah. I think a lot of my memory issues are because I'm not present. Yeah. Cause I'm like, Oh, what am like, I doing? Yeah. I'm driving a car. Perfect. Like, driving a car. Drake. Oh, oh God. Okay. Yeah. Um, So the physical act of meditation generally consists of simply sitting quietly, focusing on one's breath, a word or a phrase. Um, However, a meditator can also be walking or standing. It doesn't just have to be you sitting in silence with like some like music playing. Doesn't have to be that. Yeah. But I'm sure most people know that. 
Um, there are many traditions and countless ways to practice meditation. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and according to, uh, psychologist Roger Thompson, um, he's has a private practice in Chicago. He's a Zen meditator. Um, and there's a lot of people are, he talks about how like people are always worried about how they're not doing it right or you right. know whatever. And he just says, if you're feeling better at the end, you're probably doing it right. So it's like, there's so like, it's kind yeah. of a personalized thing. It's like whatever works for you. I think it people, seems like, like the people are just getting their head about like, well, I don't have like this many years be- of that ABC and D grandmaster yeah. has and people get intimidated by it, but it's really is it's not. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't. Um, it's like anybody's religion. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And yeah. And it's also, it can be really difficult. It's difficult for most people to overcome that internal chatter. Right. And that's the biggest. Right. At least for me too. Like, that's why I haven't practiced yeah. it more because I'll, pra- I'll try to do up. it. Yeah. 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 I'll try to do it like once and then I'll get discouraged because I can only sit still for like literally a minute or two. Maybe well, two you know, minutes. Like that's what just, you just have to go. Okay. I'm going to sit still for a minute and then you build up to that. Yeah. Give yourself small goals. Like I exercise. Know. I know. That's the thing too. Is just like and then just go eat. You know, you're okay waiting Dairy Queen after that, and you're fine. And it's fine. You're and like, then you just I keep building it for up. a minute. So fuck off. I'm everybody. fucking good. Alone. Um. So seeking methods for quieting that internal chowder and reducing stress are what attract most people to meditation. Um, it's a very effective stress reducer. Um. And if someone's struggling with feelings of anxiety, he or she may benefit from its calming aspects. And it's absolutely facilitative of mental health because it brings about a higher level of self-acceptance and insight about oneself. Nice. But beware, it could actually raise your level of anxiety if there are certain feelings you're not owning. So in other words, there's nowhere to hide when you're practicing bare attention. And this, for some people, is both good and bad news. So basically, it's like, if you're going to meditate, you better be fucking true with yourself because it could right. bring up some shit that you oh, yeah. I'm are, sure. like, suppressing down right. in there like that you're some, like, oh, I'm fine. Like, Matt. past traumas and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of people just think if, as long as they're bit, keep busy, like, they won't think about other things and, like... Yeah. That's what most, especially Americans do, I feel like. They like their band We just run around and mm-hmm. work, 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 and then we just suppress our feelings, then we kill each other, so it's great. Yep. And they're like, hey, just have this uh You just take a pill for this. White Claw or whatever uh, drink you're drinking, and then uh, you're fine. Yeah, that's it. I don't need to pay attention to that shit. That's nonsense. That's white noise. So um, there's also many more benefits of meditation other than... Um, just reducing anxiety and reducing stress. Um, it also can help reverse heart disease, which is the number one killer in it's the United impressive. States. Um, and it also can lower your blood, your blood pressure. So um, it decreases not only during meditation, but also over time in individuals who meditate regularly. Oh, And these cool. are like all, all these things I'm about to talk about have been, it's like different studies I read about, and these are just like little clip, little clip note versions. But city bits. Um, these are all studies that have been done over the last, I don't know, 30, 40 years. Oh, nice. Um, some with like 3,500 people, some with like 30 people, but it's just like multiple ones with different that they're trying to see all the different benefits from this meditation. Nice. Um, So, um, it also can help people better relate to one another. Um, psychologists say that they can tell when clients are following through with meditation, um, because they seem calmer, less angry, more self-reflective, more loving. Um, so why aren't more people taking up this practice then? Um, and time and one of the main reasons is because it puts us in the middle of our cell. This is what, um, the PhD, Mr. Thompson, says, that I talked about earlier. 
He says, because it puts us in the middle of ourselves, which is not always where we want to be. Often we want to fix things rather than accept them the way they are. Many of us feel as though we can't afford the time and energy to meditate when in fact we can't afford not to. Right. Yeah. That makes it's sense. Because it's like, oh, I can't take fucking five minutes. Like, right. It's cra- like I can sit on Instagram for like 30 minutes at a time, but I can't sit in silence for five minutes. Like, come on, Brianna. But also I can't because, be- you're, because your brain's not. I mean, your brain, you can mindlessly scroll for five minutes, but you I mean, you have to mindlessly scroll on your mind. You're right. That's no fun. You're right. Also, you can't be hard on yourself because you can't meditate. You just have to practice. That was me yeah. talking to myself. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh- <laughs> Um, experts also feel that meditation's effectiveness has to do with putting aside attachment to one's ego. Um, one doctor, Mr. Epstein says that when you look directly at a star at night, it's difficult to see, but when you look away slightly, it comes into focus. I find it to be the same way with the ego and meditating. When one zeroes in on a sense of self through a practice of meditation, the self-important ego paradoxically becomes elusive. You become more aware that you are interconnected with other beings and you can better put your own worries into the proper perspective. So we should all just try to do that and just help save each other and ourselves. So a couple more benefits from meditation. It lengthens your attention span, which is something that I could fucking use some Which help with makes sense because i feel like you're not you know really wanting because you don't have the attention span to do it but if you slowly acquire that ability that would make sense that your ability to focus on something longer mm-hmm. would increase yes exactly hashtag logic so focused attention <laughs> meditation is like weightlifting for your attention span it helps increase the strength and endurance of your attention and even meditating for a short period of time may benefit you like I said before, and one study found that four days of practicing meditation may be enough to increase attention span. Damn, that's actually pretty short. Yeah, maybe I should try it and report back. You should. Um, This is Brie Thalmeyer reporting. Reporting for duty. So it also may reduce age-related memory loss. I didn't graze your leg like that, by the way. Oh, thank you. It was my kneecap. (laughs) Oh, my goodness playing kneecappies so it may (laughs) sorry guys it's 10 o'clock i'm pretty pooped is it only 10 i thought it was 11 oh thank god it's not 11 my god so um it may reduce age-related memory loss there's this method of meditation called kurt curtain kriya i don't know how to say it um, but it combines a mantra or a chant with repetitive motion of the fingers to focus thoughts. An improved participant's ability to perform memory tasks in multiple studies of age-related memory loss. Which, like, that's really cool. I like I've oh. my nana is in a nursing home, like she's in hospice right now, mm-hmm. and like she's been in a nursing home for the last couple of years. And like, I know they have like activities and stuff, but it's like. Bingo and yeah, fucking. They don't, it doesn't exercise it's like, your goddamn brain. Why don't you guys brain? fucking teach them how to meditate? Why don't right? you teach them how to like? Why don't you take them fucking outside? I know. It just <sighs> sucks because that whole fucking industry is understaffed and. Oh, I speaking of meditation, this doesn't have to do with age related memory loss, but I did see something like a week ago that they're starting to um, instead of have detention, like have like meditation classes well that's actually really smart yeah, yeah. like oh yeah so it is john smart. doesn't want to go pick up a fucking gun when his teacher reprimands him yeah it's great yeah it's like this shit don't work no more people we got to change some shit so yeah. i thought that was really cool that they're doing that, that is actually pretty cool and implementing yeah. meditation instead of you have to sit and stare at a wall and think about what you did you stupid idiot it's true did you yeah. ever get attention i don't think i ever did i did in high school I did because my Spanish teacher hated me oh and I talked a lot and shocking he didn't like me Mrs. What? Todd she was insane well, maybe she was this like blonde German Spanish, woman who fine. taught Spanish she was a blonde German woman yeah 
she was a dumb bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Todd. I'm sure you're listening to this, but yeah. you ruined my life. Totally. It was. Fu- I felt cool that I got detention, though. Really? Yeah. I never got detention. I was. Well, aren't you Miss Goody Two Shoes? I kind of was. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Pretended like I wasn't because I listened to my Fallout Boy and my angsty music. <laughs> If I could find you now, things would get better. That's yellow card. That's yellow card. That's emo, so it's fine. Doesn't matter. It's <laughs> God damn it. It's just not keep read, Fallout Boy. Just read the damn meditation packet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it could also improve sleep. Um, because again, it helps redirect those racing or runaway thoughts that often lead to insomnia. Um, it can help control your pain. There's been a lot of studies that, um, people with the same causes of pain, uh, will be in a group or whatever. And like half of them will meditate. The other half won't. And all the people, all the meditators, um, showed a greater ability to cope with their pain and experienced reduced sensation of pain. Damn. All of them. All of them. Yeah. All of them. Um, so yeah, that's another awesome thing it can help you do. So there's two main types of meditation, like in terms of like the kind of meditation it is, which I guess is what a type is. Type. (laughs) Yeah. So what the first one is focused attention meditation, which concentrates attention on a single object, thought, sound, or visualization, visualization. It emphasizes verbal meditation. Verbal meditation of the mouth is when you speak properly. Um, what? It emphasizes ridding your mind of attention and distraction. Meditation may focus on breathing, a mantra, or a calming sound. Um, the other type of meditation is open monitor- monitoring meditation, which encourages broadening, broadened awareness Broader. of all aspects of your environment, train of thought, and sense of self. Ooh. This may include becoming aware of thoughts, feelings, or impulses that might normally try you might normally try to suppress. So just a couple different examples of meditations, like walking meditation. It can calm your mind when you focus on your strides and the movement of taking steps rather than focusing on your breath. Um, well, that's pretty cool. Walking in a labyrinth is a centuries old practice of contemplation common among many spiritual faiths, including Catholicism. That's weird. Yeah. I never knew that. We never had a labyrinth at St. Patrick's elementary. What the fuck? We have a labyrinth at my work. You do? Yeah. Do you get lost in it? No, because you can just walk right through it. Oh. It's like stones on a ground on the ground and then like it's you know That's so... you're supposed to like walk the path. It's Did it's... you ever play Labyrinth, the like marble game? I thought you were gonna say like the, the David with David Bowen and the Muppets. No. Did you ever play Labyrinth? Never... I played Labyrinth I... when I was him for Halloween two years ago. Um... Jareth the Goblin King. Mm. Remember that? Fucking voodoo. Um so... I I never played Labyrinth with the marbles, whatever the fuck you're talking about. It was like a big fucking maze and it had all the little holes in it. And then you had to like move. Oh, 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 you had to like yeah. turn the little knobs. Yep. I know exactly. To like yep. move the little uh, yep. fucking thing. Yeah. You know, you guys know what Labyrinth is? Let us know if you know what Labyrinth is. Uh, they probably or don't. Uh, or don't. So another um, form of meditation is called Kata. And it's a formal practice of martial arts, which includes Tai Chi. Um, and the motions of this practice are so complex, it becomes impossible to think of other things, Whoa. allowing for profound meditative focus. Kind of like yoga. Boom. Um, listening mindfully to music um, is also another form of meditation, especially music without lyrics. It produces the same impacts of, of meditation by allowing you to be transported by the sounds away from stray and extraneous, extraneous thoughts. Um, another meditation that's pretty 
I feel like anyone can do any time of the day, any day of the week, um, is daily task meditation. And we do this a lot as little chefs and bakers, I feel like. We do. Um, where you take the process of a task, like doing dishes, cooking a meal, or getting dressed, and focus on it in a way, focus on it the way a kung fu master might focus on his or her firm forms which like when i make pasta that's like yeah. super meditative to me or See, like there you go certain you know tedious like some of those like kind of tedious pr- like tasks in the kitchen Do- are like meditative no i completely like, agree yes, because I'm you get the, perfectly slicing this eggplant you also get like through this zone and it's just it's a meditative yeah. state yeah for it's sure. very zen but t- do you want to hear my weird meditative kind of state that i like yeah folding laundry it's uh, very, I'm going to make a real good housewife one You day. are. You fucking clean the I mean, shit out of this place in one second. It's what I like to do. It's not because of my other kind of roots. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Anyway, go on. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, there's that one. Um. So, I'm also going to talk a little bit about... Like, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a little pep talk and myself about why you should stuff. meditate. Yeah. Um, so meditating is supposed to be a quieting of the mind. But along the way, your thoughts are going to keep zooming in and out and trying to distract you. And that's fine. It happens all the time in the beginning. Trickery. But there's here's the secret. It happens all the time to masters, too, apparently. So oh, they just take a Benadryl and they just. They just Knock fucking that shit out. take an Adderall and they I just knew it. zone the right the fuck out. I fucking knew it. Fraud. Just kidding. They don't do that. They just they just focus more. So the trick with meditation isn't to totally eliminate those stray thoughts. It's to let them pass through your mind without grabbing a hold of them. So that like makes sense. it's just about looking at those thoughts differently. Right. Um. Just you know, and that being aware of those thoughts and just. Letting them go. Letting that free ride go. Again, it does not have to be very long. Um, some of the masters advise people just starting with one minute of meditation per day. Just starting that way because you'll See? slowly be able to build it up just like you were saying. I'm saying you. I'm, um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm actually just a master. And it won't be enough to reap a huge, long-lasting benefit if you're just fucking meditating for a minute a day. But tolerance. you will succeed for sure, so that's exciting. Or not tolerance. And something. I don't know. Um, and anyone can meditate for a minute, no matter how busy or distracted you are. So that's just a nice little small goal to have, like your baby steps. Baby steps. Have you ever seen What About Bob? Yeah, that was a good one, too. That is a good one. Oh, we're just throwing them all the 90s films out there. Right. Clifford, What About Bob? All of it. All the, all the movies I watched. Today. All the time. Anyway, um, you don't have to be a certain type of person to meditate. Like I said, a lot of people think about hippy dippy. Yeah, you don't need to have like fucking six fucking million dollars crystals. on your goddamn arm and like a fucking crystal in your hang- nose. In your nose and. You don't. You have to be you just like have anointed to be, by like somebody special. You just have to be willing. Despite what try. they tell you. Yeah, you don't have to be like anointed by a shaman it's, or Yeah. They don't you don't have to be like fucking for six ninety nine you can have all the meditative practices for whatever. If the guy who plays Wolverine can meditate, you can do it too. It's true. But for seven hundred ninety nine you can meditate with him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, on his face. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. As long as his Wolverine face is on <laughs> or not. Anyways, Wolverine. In closing, meditation is something everyone can do to improve their mental and emotional health. It's yes. proven, y'all. It's science. It's science. Hashtag science. Scientifically proven to do this. Um, or you can also microdose on mushrooms. I mean, either way. Or you're going to see shit. So. <laughs> um, 
you Whatever. can do it anywhere. One's gonna be faster, so just it's saying. True. You can do it anywhere without special equipment or memberships. Mm-hmm. It's a free fucking activity that you can do whenever, wherever you want. Nice. Um, alternatively, med- meditation courses and support groups are widely available. Um, if you don't, if you are like kind of feeling weird about, I don't know how to do this or whatever, there's, you can take a meditation class. Right. And they'll guide you through it. There's even those fucking apps you can buy, mm-hmm. which y'all know about those. Um, don't you know. Trying out a style of meditation suited to your goals is a great way to improve your quality of life, even if you only have a few minutes to do it each day. And that's all I wanted to say. I like it. I like that kind of science. Yes, me too. And maybe, watch what I'm going to do here. Maybe if we all meditate all at the same time, it's going to cure global warming. It could. <laughs> if we all meditated more, maybe we'd be like, holy shit, I shouldn't be supporting these industries. I shouldn't be driving my car so much. I should be taking care of the earth. I should be loving people the way that I should and the way I want to be loved. And I should be a kind human to the world. And we'll all talk like that. It'll be great. Together. I hope not. Maybe. I hope we don't know. talk like that. Um, but yeah. Stranger things have happened. Basically, stop global warming and meditate is what I wanted to say. I like it. No. It's a good, simple message. But... Yeah, I just, uh, it's something that I want to start doing. And so I thought it would give me one step closer if I just told you guys about it. We'll make you, we'll be your accountability. Billy. Accountability Billies. Billy Billies. Billy Billies. Accountability. That's a tongue twister for me. Accountability Billies. Yeah. Accountability Billies. Something like that. All right. That's, that it's was a fine. shorty. Because I had to talk so much to you about how to cook. I know, because I was like fucking wiping my knife off with a piece of grass, and I just couldn't <laughs> handle my shit. That was the best part. When you wipe, I was like, wipe was- your knife off. <laughs> wipe the lemongrass off your knife or something. <laughs> you and then you just wiped a piece of lemongrass on the you knife. Said, wipe it off with the lemongrass, and I think I just misunderstood you. I was like, yeah, I just, no. I mean, I said that, which doesn't make sense. Nope. Or does it? But I wanted to pause it there. <sighs> uh oh. We gotta go. We gotta go, guys. But it's okay. I oh no! Know what I'm talking no, about? No, wait. First, while you, while oh. I find the dice that my cat hid, hid somewhere. Colonel um, Mustard was playing with the dice, and, and now I gotta find threw it. it somewhere. Then we can't find it. We could, it's like a real life Easter egg hunt. It is. So you do my thing. Do your thing. Do okay, you guys, thing? we first have all, a task. Wait. But first, oh, shout out to fucking Katie, Caddy. <gasps> Holy shit, Caddy Cat. Yeah. Um, my, one of my very, very, very best friends. Probably mine one day. Caddy Manning. Best. Yes, you will be one day. Um, when you guys meet, we call her Caddy. Her name's Katie, but it's really Caddy. Because it's spelled C-A-T-Y, so it's catty. Uh, Anyway, she gave us a really nice voice message this week. And we are so thankful and love the shout outs that we've gotten. And we love hearing the love. We love hearing that you guys like what we're doing. So uh, you finding that dice, Shay? She is literally crawling all over the ground right now. Because he threw it, literally. Yeah. The, cat the cat threw the dice. Right the shelf, right in the oh my God, he's crazy. Yeah. Apparently it's perfectly in the middle of the couch where you can't get it. Um, so yeah, Instagram, if you don't follow us, you should. Um, also, if, and if you like the episodes, if anything f- makes you feel any kind of way if you want to share them with your friends share them on your instagram show us some love we'd love it do it just Just make sure we're we're doing what you guys want yes um also another thing about you guys that have been listening 
we've been trying to figure out what the fuck to call you guys. Yeah. We want a little fun name for you, and we can't think of one. So if anyone has any suggestions on what you guys should call yourselves, like the only thing I can think of is 30-somethings, but that's dumb, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, we're not. I know. Okay. <laughs> I get it. We're not fucking doing that. <laughs> it's like I've already yelled at you about like, it. Like, yeah, we're, we're not, not fucking doing that, Brianna. That's so it's 1980s. I don't no, know. it's not. It it's, just isn't fun enough. It's not. Um, so I, another one was like, I thought of maybe you guys could be called turds. <laughs> but that's also stupid. So this is why we need your help. <laughs> For no- <laughs> Hey, you little turds. We're not calling them turds. The turdies. We also, oh, the we, thirties. We, yeah, that's why the I said turdies. that. The turdies. Yeah, but I just want to call you guys turds because I think that's fun. Well, that's not a good way to obtain hey, more you listeners. turds. I call, it's a term of endearment. Okay. A turd, a turd of, of endearment. endearment. There it is. <laughs> okay. No, but uh, yeah, we yeah. want to see like if you guys had any other suggestions, and I'm sure you guys do, that are way more clever than us. Yeah, so if you have some clever thoughts. So you could either voice message us or DM us or... Uh, email us. We do have an email, which, again, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are into that sort of thing. I don't even know why I said it like that. Like, I mean, I guess if you guys want to use like the old-fashioned like carrier pigeon thing, like go for it, but mm, Yeah, whatever. fucking do it. We'll send you our fucking <laughs> telegraph address. <laughs> a telegraph. <laughs> Send us a piece When you of mail. send a telegraph, was it like to a phone number or was it the operator? It was an operator, huh? I think it was to an operator, yeah. And then they're like, because, because like if you didn't, because why would you send a telegraph to a telephone if you could just pick up the phone? <laughs> oh, yeah. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why would you call someone to make a telegraph? Can you imagine if you got on the back and you're like. I'm going to do that for nostalgia next time because. Telegraph? Telegraphs really take me back. Clearly. I don't even back remember them. To 1984. I really need to brush up on my telegraph history. Seriously. You're so silly. But yes. <laughs> long story long. Uh, give us some suggestions, you guys. Yeah, we want to hear them. We do. We really do. Yeah. So uh, that's all for the laundry. Was that meditative for you while we aired was, out our I pretty much got laundry list. Higher what? state of being when you were saying all those things. So I knew it. it You're good. so much less stressed. I know. Well, I've got my little therapy cat here. You do. He's just resting like a an adorable little kitten on your leg. He is. I wish his paws were crossed. It'd be adorable, but he's not a lady. So? Okay, are you ready to roll? Yeah. Here we go. Two. It's crime again. Oh, my. (laughs) I feel like this dice only rolls twos and fives. It knows what I love. All right, we'll do it one more time for good measure. No. You can do crime again, Shay. Okay. Shay. That's fine. I like your crime stories. Thanks. Except when they're about fucking people getting their boobs chopped off <laughs> and then people making <laughs> molds out of them. Okay, they weren't like a jello mold for Christ's sakes. Yeah, it was just a real boob mold <laughs> with a boob that was cut off of a woman. Six. Paranormal. Thank you. All right. I'm going to do a paranormal story. Okay, paranormal. Oh, my God. Should we do it in Windsor? We're going to be like. Oh, paranormal and crime? I know. We're going to be like a That's Why We Drink. It's going to be a a That's Why We Drink episode. Oh, my God. (gasps) It's destiny. (laughs) I don't know why. (laughs) Because. Because that was the first podcast I listened to. Oh, there you go. Okay. That you told me about. Then it is Destiny. And then because we were, because I watched Forensic Files too much. So then you were like, you should listen to this podcast. That's right. I did. I was like, I don't listen to podcasts. And And then then you're like, I I love this podcast. Now now we have one ourselves. And now we have one ourselves. Okay. So crime and paranormal. That's going to be fun. Should we do it in a Windsor house? So we're really scared. 
like me you mean me be really scared mm-hmm. yeah we should okay and then take leroy for a walk <laughs> and then he'll eat the ghosts that are around us anyway all right well Perfect. that was our show for the day that's our show it's ten thirty-six. <sighs> we gotta, we gotta go, go. <laughs> we gotta go just because we have to go somewhere and this is probably like this is like fucking 20 year old status like we're just getting ready and going like I'm gonna put on some t-shirts in my comfy shoes. Yeah, dude. Shoes. I yeah. Fuck that. All right. Until okay. next time, guys. Good. Okay, love you. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Avidas and good night. <laughs>